Bristol City are on an absolute roll at the moment. Three wins in a row, a 4-1 victory, the latest of the lot at Vicarage Road and beating the Irish Mel Watford. Bristol City will be going into this game on Friday night away at St Andrews to face Birmingham, Wayne Rooney's Birmingham, high on confidence and in the hope they'll make it four wins in a row. In these match previews, I normally start by talking about the opposition, but Bristol City have to be given a lot of credit and the manner of victory at Vicarage Road to go away to a side who'd only lost two games in the last 13, I believe, and that was against the top two in Leicester and Ipswich. It is a mighty, mighty impressive achievement. And the manner, as I said, we did it was quite something. Complete domination from minute one. And a lot of a lot of credit has to go to Liam Manning for that. The way we set up, the boldness of the team selection, dropping the captain, Matthew James, in order to play Joe Williams was the absolutely right call as it turned out giving us that energy and bite in midfield and our legs he talked about we needed as well so massive credit to Liam Manning and a massive credit to the team because they really turned up and to do that sort of away performance biggest away win since 2017 where we won 4-0 at Fulham that's quite an achievement at a Watford side and it's put us right back into the mix for the top six. I think Wayne Rooney's record at Birmingham since he's come in has been very well noted by the general media around the UK. A big name, kind of a big flashy appointment from the new Birmingham owners. And so far, it's completely backfired. Two wins in his opening 13 games. And with the squad he has available to him, there's not a Birmingham squad of old where it's kind of ageing players or players that's kind of mid-table and about about that or lower ends of the championship. This is a very exciting Birmingham squad. This has got a lot of lot of um, exciting young players in it. A lot of players who have the ability to make the step up into the Premier League if they have good seasons. Yeah, granted he's had a few injuries recently, Lee Buchanan, I want to say, but with the squad he has at his disposal, I'm sure Birmingham fans would have liked to see a little bit more in terms of pattern of play and the build up and general progression than they have seen so far in his opening 13 games. Most recently for Blues, it was a very disappointing, another very disappointing game. A 3-1 defeat at home to Stoke, who themselves have got a new manager, Stephen Schumacher. But again, it was the manner of the display and the performance and eventually the result that really ticked Birmingham fans off. Before the Stoke game, it was a capitulation at home park, ended up a 3-3 draw there. And before that, it was a manning effort against Leicester, to be fair. But yet again, another defeat. So Birmingham will be looking at this game and hoping that for their sake, they'll be getting some sort of momentum going, going into a very tough trip away to Ellen Road after the game on Friday night. For Bristol City, though, Ross McCrory and Andy King are both back in full training. That does not mean they'll be available for this game or possibly even Millwall. They might be available for the West Ham game. I'm not overly sure, but... Generally, good news on the injury front and on top of the Naki Wells reintroduction back into the squad. It's good news overall and it looks like a few more players are coming back. Although Cal Naismith did have a little setback from his injury, which is not good news. But generally, net positive in terms of players coming back. Bruce City have shown that even in away games and at Ashton Gate as well, Bruce City can dominate possession and can cause opposition a lot of problems. We did that at Watford and that bared fruit quite a lot and we scored four goals away from home which doesn't happen very often so we hope that once again with a few tweaks and maybe a few new players being introduced into the starting 11 that Bristol can do that once again and against the side that's low on confidence and presumably the manager is not feeling very good about himself and under tre tremendous pressure Bristol can go there and fully capitalize on what would be yet, an yet another brilliant brilliant three points. Despite the fact that it was a thumping against Watford, I don't think it will be the same team that starts here on Friday night against Birmingham. I think it's very important that during this Christmas period and heading into the New Year's that Bruce City make a few changes to the starting eleven, even if it's minor and if it's only for a couple of games, but the squad rotation is going to be ha is going to have to be there. And I understand that uh, at the moment injuries are going to have to permit that and maybe some players will have to start more games than we'd probably like to. But we still, with what we can, we need to make sure we are rotating the squad at a reasonable pace. So I'd stick with Max and Goal. Obviously, George Tanner right, right back. Uh, Rob Dickey, Zach Viner, and Cam Pring as the back four. That's stick with that. I'd take Joe Williams out, even though he was utterly brilliant at Watford. I would take him out with his past injury problems as well. I'd bring Matty James back into the starting 11 and maybe start Joe Williams against Millwall. 
and then I'd stick Taylor Gardner Hickman and Jason Knight. Jason Knight, who took, by the way, took the armband against Watford and was brilliant, but Matt James would obviously take the armband back if he does start. I'd go Naki Wells up top in the central nine position. I'd go Sam Bell off the left, even though Anis Mometi, as I said, yet again, was superb against Watford. And Mark Sykes off the right as well. But you might see Mark Sykes coming off of Sam Bell because generally, well, especially in his hull, Sam Bell was superb when he came in off the right-hand side and created a few good chances and got him behind the opposition. Maybe that's the case and maybe Alice Mermetti sticks with the starting eleven in, in, and Liam Manning sticks with Alice Mermetti up top as well. Let me know your thoughts and what you would do if you're, if you're Liam Manning and uh, the starting eleven you'd uh, choose for the game against Birmingham. I have to say, I'm pretty confident going into this game, but it is obviously, you know, Bush City. It's not, it's not always given, but it all points towards a Bush City three points, hopefully. So for that reason, I'm going to back Liam Manning. I'm going to back the boys. I'm going to go for yet another victory. I'll go for Bristol City to win by two goals to one at Birmingham and to make it four wins in a row. I do think it'll be tight. I do think Blues have a good attacking threat with Jay, uh, Jay Stansfield. I'll just say Jay the Silver there. Uh, Jay Stansfield, Koji Miyoshi, Kassi Anderson, etc, etc. They do have some good players up top, so Ricky Dembele as well. So I do think Birmingham do pose a threat going forward. And Bush City, at times, were a bit sloppy against Watford. Not We were far more controlled. It was a much more controlled performance. But at times, it could have been a bit, it could have cost us a lot more if if, if they had a bit, little bit more attacking quality. So for that reason, I'll go for Birmingham to score. But hopefully, Bush City can get out of Birmingham with another three points. And to make it four wins in a row and really cement ourselves as proper playoff contenders. Let me know your score predictions down in the comment section down below. I went for Birmingham 1, Bristol City 2. If you're a Birmingham fan, how do you feel ahead of this game? Are you nervous? Are you slightly optimistic? You know, it could be a little bit of a reprieve. Maybe there's a shock result coming. But if you're a Bristol City fan, are you expectant of a result? Let me know down in the comment section down below. I certainly am not. I, this could be very Bristol City just to mess this up and lose 1-0 or something. But... Anyways, thank you very much for watching this match preview. If you have enjoyed it, hit like. If you haven't enjoyed it, subscribe to Yannis Harris uh, for more Bristol City content in the future. And I'll catch you all later. Cheers.